Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1819 half crown, the coin we see on screen now. Firstly, I'll go through the design of the coin and then move on to the facts and figures. Here is the reverse design and it is a beauty. In the very center is a Hanoverian crown shield and this is embedded into the royal quartered arms shield. We see two portions featuring the three lions of England, one featuring the harp of Ireland and one featuring the lion rampart of Scotland. Around this shield is the Order of the Garter, and atop the shield is the St. Edward's Crown, a lovely, lovely design, with the legend encircling this, reading in Latin, Britannicum Rex Fid Death. This translates to King of Britain, Defender of the Faith, and this is referencing to George III, under who this coin was minted. Around the very rim, you may be able to see some little beads, teeth, or milling, and this is there as a measure to prevent the coin from being clipped and the silver content being stolen from this coin. Now then, moving on to the obverse, we see the portrait of King George III. Here he is. He is pictured facing to the right, wearing a laureate in his hair rather than a crown. Below him is the date, 1819, when the coin was struck, and around him is the rest of the legend, once again in Latin, this time reading Georgius III de Gratia. This translates to George III by the grace of God, linking to the divine right of kings. And once again, around this is all the little teeth, milling or beads to stop the coin from being clipped. A lovely design on both sides, with the reverse being designed by Thomas Wyon and the obverse here being designed by Benedito Pastrucci, both famous and beloved engravers to the collectors now of these historic coins. Now then, we will move on to the facts and figures of the 1819 half crown. This coin was minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. The coin is composed of 0.925 silver, otherwise known as 92.5% pure silver or sterling silver, as all silver coins were before 1920 when they were debased. The weight of the half crown is of course 14.14 grams, after all half crowns have been standardised to this weight a few years prior in the reign of George III. At the same time, the diameter was standardised and fixed at 32mm, making it a fairly big coin in both weight and diameter. The mintage of the 1819 half crown is 2,905,056, and so is a not very rare coin, but after all these years, with a fairly low mintage, is getting a little harder to find. The half crown is a 30 pence coin, which is 2 and 6, 2 shillings and 6 pence, 2 and a half shillings, and that is one eighth of a pound sterling back in the predecimal money system. And back in 1819, a half crown was equal to 13 pounds and 70 pence today, and so it could be sort of a wage per hour, half a crown an hour back then in Georgian England. And the coin was demonetized in 1969 in the lead up to decimalization. Now then, after all these centuries, what is the value of this coin? Well, in poor condition, it was sold for around 23 pounds. In fine condition, 50 pounds. In extremely fine condition, 325 pounds. And in uncirculated grade, with no wear, marks or damage, 730 pounds. So, some pretty high values there for an out condition one, but still an affordable coin if you want to get this lovely design within your collection as a great piece of history and a great design. Please comment down below if you already have it. And of course, please do subscribe as well, that means a lot. A big thank you to everyone for watching this far through the video, we appreciate it very much, and we hope to see you again for more coins on Bits and Bobs in the future. Bye!